about growing vertically. Uh, this is something that I did not think about before, but uh, last year our garden got so out of control, I knew I had to do something. Um, this, the zucchini was probably in a 10 by 10 area and it was just all over. It, it was crazy. I vowed I would never do that again. It was like a jungle. So started doing some research and uh, thought about growing vertically and it's been amazing. Uh, as you can see I have right here this structure here is about four foot by probably maybe four foot and I have four different varieties of squash growing here. Not only do I have zucchini but I have spaghetti squash that's what's really taken off right here. Uh, and um, also on the other side I have uh, summer squash and on this side I have an acorn squash. So four varieties of squash growing in a 4x4 four four area. That's unheard of. So um, all I did uh, to make this structure it was very easy. A couple of 1x2s about um, 6 foot long each. Uh, maybe maybe eight, and uh, drilled a, a hole here, put a uh, bolt in to hold it, and I put them on the inside so when we're done for the season, we can fold it up, it'll lay uh, flat, and we can just set it somewhere, against a wall somewhere, and then uh, pull, it, pull it out again next, next growing season. I did put a brace in between. I just figured that going uh, four foot was, uh, was quite, a bit, quite a ways. I could have put something on the top. I decided not to do that. I don't know why. I think because I figured these braces in the middle would be good. But uh, also I got, if you look at Home Depot and Lowe's, they have different wire. This wire I got is very pliable. And, uh, and easy to use, easy to cut. Uh, my wife could cut it with no problem. Uh, so we got that, and um, it makes good tomato cages as well. But uh, So I got that, I stapled that to the outside, and uh, it's, been, it's been great, it's been fun, it's been, uh, you know, learning something new is always, is always fun. Well, not always fun, but uh, in this case it was. So it's been, uh, it's been good. But I've also decided to grow vertically uh, some cucumbers and I have some cantaloupe in the back as well that I'm going to show you in a second. Um, I was uh, looking around YouTube the other night and I came across the Garden Fork TV channel which was uh, very informative. He has a ton of videos out there and it seemed like we were doing kind of the same thing. So I wanted to do a shout out to uh, Garden Fork TV. They um, do a great job and uh, um, you guys check them out as well. But um, for us, please subscribe and I will show you the cucumbers and the cantaloupe here in just a second. Oh yeah, also uh, the World Cup is going on right now in honor of the World Cup, I've decided to wear my uh, Barcelona uh, soccer jersey. So um, anyway, go USA, even though I don't have a USA shirt on. So thank you. Okay, here are the cucumbers. And uh, I'm not sure you can see, but um, I've done the square foot thing. Uh, last year, like I said, the garden went crazy wanted to be more organized, uh, which is a good thing um, this year. So I put in, oh geez, about 10 boxes, which were very easy to make. I'll do a, uh, I'll do a quick video on, on how to make a square foot box. But um, I decided to put the cucumbers up here in the corner. I made a trellis out of the same wire that I used for the for the squash out front and uh, I made a structure and put the wire on as you can see they've they've really uh, like growing vertically I've always 
uh, known that cucumbers like to do that, but this is the first time we've, we've grown them. Um, and it's, there are four different variety in here. Um, for cucumbers, we could have never gotten that kind of variety in this small a space. So uh, it's a good idea to grow vertically. I'm going to show you my cantaloupe here in a second. Finally, here are my cantaloupe. As you can see, I copied the design of my squash um, lattice, so to speak. Um, this design, by any means, is not the only design. Uh, I've looked around on the internet and found many different designs. Uh, Garden Fork TV uses a string, which is a great idea, but I don't think it would work for the cantaloupe. Um, because they're they're so heavy but um, I'm early in the growing season as you can see I've got a couple of uh, good size softball cantaloupe growing over here they seem to really like this and here again I have three cantaloupe plants in a 4x4 four four area never possible without growing vertically so we've been able to get a lot more into a smaller area by going up instead of out. Thank you for watching today. I'm going to have more uh, good videos coming up. And uh, please like and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Thank you. Eat healthy, be healthy.